This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. Hey guys, back with another Doom video. Today I was originally going to do a video on the multiplayer weapons in Doom. However, I wanted a little more time to get familiar with all of the weapons that are available in multiplayer. So instead, I figured I'd go ahead and I would talk about what I think are going to be the best runes in the game's single player mode. So most of these are unlocked towards the middle or the end of the game because some of those early runes are more like standard utility runes and they're good early on but there are much better runes that you can get later on so without further ado these will be the top five best runes and rune trials in doom 2016 single player number five in-flight mobility now what this does is it improves your directional control after double jumping and this does sound kind of boring however it's actually quite useful um, with this skill you have the ability to totally redirect your momentum after performing a double jump so for example you could jump forwards and then double jump backwards or from side to side or any combination permutation that you can think of um, in fact, I'm surprised this isn't how Doom normally plays, to be honest, especially since you move fairly fast to begin with. Now, the rune trial for acquiring this rune is fairly easy and involves just collecting orbs within a time limit. All you have to do is to race to the very end and you should be able to get your hands on the in-flight mobility rune. This particular rune trial is located in the Argent facility after it's been destroyed, so mission 7 in the main campaign. Number 4, Intimacy is Best. So what this does is it makes enemies stagger a little bit easier, and according to the description, it just says that demons stagger off of less damage, so you don't have to deal quite as much damage in order to get them to stagger, so it makes them easier to glory kill. When combined with both the Armor Defensive and Rich Get Richer runes, you probably have the best rune setup in the game. And this is because the Rich Get Richer rune provides infinite ammo, provided your armor count is high enough. Uh, armor Defensive gives you armor upon glory kills, and Intimacy is best makes enemies stagger easier, making them easier to glory kill. So this is one of the more difficult rune trials to complete, and I recommend you use the pistol, you charge it a quarter of the way, and then shoot the imps in the foot or torso. That way you can stagger them for an easier glory kill. This rune trial is located in the advanced research complex. Number three armored offensive. Now what this does is it drops armor when you perform a glory kill on an enemy. And keep in mind this also includes glory kills achieved while in the berserk mode or using the berserk artifact. Um, this ability can significantly increase your character's survival abilities in combat as when you take damage with armor equipped you don't receive any damage to your max health. I think in the original Doom game, if you took damage with armor equipped, um, it would deal damage to both your armor and your maximum health. Regardless, uh, in addition to being able to pick up armor um, with this particular rune, when you normally perform a glory kill, even without this rune, you get health as well. So this is a good way to quickly stack up some health if you get kind of in a tough situation. Now this is one of the easier of the rune trials that's later on in the game. Uh, there's plenty of armor to pick up. Just be aware of that armored pinky enemy at the very end um, because he will like maul you and destroy you. The armored offensive rune trial is located in the Argent Facility Destroyed mission, um, which is also the same mission as in-flight mobility. Number two, saving throw. This is the last rune that you acquire in the campaign mode, uh, and what it does is it gives you the ability to survive a death blow that would otherwise kill you. Um, this ability only appears to work once per level. It also appears to be somewhat random, so I wouldn't recommend relying on it to always save you. Um, once upgraded, you can activate saving throw twice per level as opposed to just one time per level. Now this ability is actually quite easy to level up, provided you want to do so. Uh, simply go to the Lazarus Labs via Mission Select, and then take enough damage to where Saving Throw becomes active, pull out the BFG, and then rake in all those kills. This is a relatively difficult rune trial, however it's not the hardest of all the ones on this list. 
Um, because this one's kind of difficult because you die in one hit. And what I recommend you do is a strategy. Uh, take out the Kaka Demon, the Hell Knight, and the Spectre, which is that invisible pinky, before killing all of the other enemies. Uh, and really, a charged shot with the Siege Gauss Cannon will kill all three in one shot, provided you're aiming at the head. The Saving Throw Rune Trial is located at Lazarus Labs, which is about mid to a significant way through the game. Number one, Rich Get Richer. How could this not be the best rune in the Doom campaign mode? Um, now, this is the second to last rune that you acquire in the campaign, and what it does is it gives you infinite ammo at 100 armor or more. And the upgraded version does the same thing, however, at just 75 armor or more. And this is essentially the legit way to get infinite ammo in Doom's single player campaign. As I mentioned earlier, this rune is really good with both the armor defensive rune as well as the intimacy as best rune simply because you can basically keep your armor stock up because you're able to constantly stagger glory kill get more armor and just like wreck face throughout the doom campaign overall though i think this is the most difficult rune trial simply because you're given the rocket launcher which you can kill yourself with if you're too close to whatever you fired at Plus, it also gives you, like, the worst attachment for the rocket launcher. Instead of lock-on burst, you get the remote detonator, which is kind of a pain. Uh, just be patient and keep trying with this one. The reward is definitely worth it if you can beat that rune trial. Like the saving throw rune trial, this rune trial is also located in Lazarus Labs. Anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, and as always... Take care and I'll see y'all next time.